video, I'm going to be sharing what my personal favorite spring nail polishes to wear are. Some of these polishes are definitely not exactly spring colors, but I love them so much and I've been wearing them quite frequently, so I'm going to call them a spring color. Uh, most of these polishes are from Zoya. I have a few from Orly and a few from Essie, and I have one polish shown here that is from OPI. So I'm going to start off with the Orly, and this is Orly's Blue Iris, and this is from the new spring collection from Orly from 2022. This purple polish, which is Province at Dusk, is also from the exact same uh, spring collection that I just mentioned. This is Essie's Bikini So Teeny, and these two are so close in color that I'm calling them dupes. I just, I love periwinkles. Next is Essie's Fiji, and this is a really pretty light pink color. I wear this one so frequently that I just had to throw this one in. I love this one so much. Next up is OPI's Alpine Snow. This is Zoya's Yasmine, and this is a really pretty dark purple. In shade, it has like a sparse, or in shade, it has like a chrome powder look, but in direct sunlight, it has like a sparse glitter look. It's really, really pretty. It reminds me of Maleficent. Next is Zoya's Kaylee, and this is a really pretty dusty purple color. This was actually part of the Darling collection from Zoya, which I believe was a Valentine's Day collection from 2021. Next up is Zoya's Winnie, and this is a really pretty hot pink coral color. I'm not a huge fan of corals, but this is really, really pretty and very, very unique for me. Next is Zoya's Blue, and this is literally spelled B-L-U. It is such a pretty pastel blue. I saw this on a nail video, and I just, I, I had to have it. It's so pretty. And it's just really pretty. Next up is Zoya's Tiana. And this is the one that I actually just got recently. And I absolutely love it. I thought it was going to be a pistachio sagey color. But it is so pretty. It's like a soft minty green. And I love it. Next up is Zoya's Evelyn. And this is a really pretty like whitish pale pink. This was part of the 2020 Natural Collection I believe from Zoya. And I really like it. I wear this one all the time too. I apparently like softer shades. <laughs> Next up is Zoya's Jan, and this is a really pretty dark sapphire blue color. This was one of those colors that I just, I saw when I was on their website I just had to have. It's so pretty. Sapphire blue is actually one of my favorite colors, and um, it's just really, really pretty, and I've been wearing this one a lot recently. Next up is Zoya's Oswin, and this is a really pretty matte, chunky red glitter polish. It does dry, like I said, it does dry matte, so I apply a glossy top coat, but this reminds me of Dorothy's Red Ruby Shoes. I love it, and I wore it, and I wear it all the time. Next up is Zoya's Merida, and this is a really pretty emerald green with some glitter. I love this one. It is so pretty. I love emerald greens for greens. Next up is Zoya's Tweety, and this was from that Darling collection that I mentioned that purple polish was in. Um, I love this one. It's, it's a really, really pretty soft baby pink or soft bubblegum pink, and I just love it. Next up is Zoya's Harbor, and this is one that's kind of not springy, but I've been wearing it recently because I just got it, and I absolutely love it. I did use this one in my Little Mermaid nails. Next up is Zoya's Celine, and this is a jewel-toned uh, a green color. I just saw this one recently and I've been wearing it ever since. It's really pretty on toes. Next up and last one is Zoya's T Abby. I should say Abby. Sorry about that. This is a really pretty color and this one was actually from the Zoya's Bridal Bliss collection which I don't have that collection but I saw this on a nail video and I was like I just had to have it. So I just want to say very quickly that um, Zoya's you can pretty much get on their website and on Amazon. They're no longer available in stores. Um, Orly, I think you can get in stores, but I think you can get them mostly on uh, their website. Uh, and the Essies, you can get literally anywhere. And I think you can get OPIs anywhere, but you can also find them on Amazon. And I also want to say that this video took me three times to film because I could not get it in the correct, like, angle. Um, which is why the nail polish was already on it. I just added the second coat. So that is all my favorite spring polishes.